Alright everyone, welcome back to Cody's Lab. So today, I'm going to talk about my copper jacket here. I've been working on this for about two years now. Uh, I made a video when I first started, but there's probably a lot of people that are coming to the channel since then and have no idea what this is about, so this video is for you. I haven't been working on it constantly. Maybe I've averaged about an hour a week. Not, not particularly much, maybe less than 100 hours have gone into this, which is still a substantial amount of work. And it's not even done. Like, not even, I'm not even close. This might even be the halfway mark. I mean, most of the actual matter is here, but I'm going through and I'm welding the rings. I've only got half of them welded so far, and welding them when they're in the fabric is a lot more difficult. So, I've been kind of putting that off, actually. <laughs> So basically what this is, is 20,000 3 8 inch diameter copper rings made from 12 gauge copper wire knitted together in a 4-in-1 European pattern. I would like to go all the way down to the wrists with the sleeves and then have gloves, a helmet, coif, leggings, the works. So I'll probably be working on this forever. <laughs> Uh, the whole point of this is, it's, it's kind of cool. I like it. I like the feel and look of copper, even though copper is much weaker than most other metals that I could be using. Um, I might switch out to another metal for the other accessories. But I've always wanted a garment made out of metal. Like, this is really cool. The, the weight of it you know, makes you feel almighty. <laughs> Also, it's, it's quite a workout to wear, so it's, it's a form of exercise. Like, I'll put this on when I'm going out to the store, you know, just walking. You know, it, it adds calories burned because it weighs 40 pounds. And, you know, of course, moving around, like, even just lifting my arms, like, there's another 15 pounds right there resisting my motion. This belt does help hold some of the weight off my shoulders. You can see that's how long it is. I might lengthen it eventually, but you know, this material is all hanging loose because it's being supported by this belt. So that reduces the total amount of stress on my shoulders. Also, it makes a nice little place to hang my hammer. Uh, the hammer's less attention grabbing than a sword, you know. It's still a dangerous weapon, but it's it's not a sword. <laughs> I also wear uh, some bags of steel shot on my ankles to go with it to kind of help balance me out, add extra weight, and simulate wearing the leggings, which will be worked on eventually. I have noticed a lot of weight loss, but I haven't really been able to exactly correlate anything with wearing this because I've had other incidents in my life that have caused me to lose and gain significant amounts of weight. Uh, maybe at some point, I'll, uh, once my weight kind of stabilizes, I'll double down and wear it more and see if I can see a drop. Maybe, maybe I'll wear, not wear it for a while before, just so we can actually see a difference. But of course it can also stop sharp objects, especially slashing motions. Oh, I just dulled my knife. Uh, it's fairly thick copper wire. It's fairly hard to cut through. It's certainly not bulletproof, but it might stop a, a random dagger, you know, <laughs> especially once it's all finished being welded. I've also been kind of trying to wear it for my Mars simulation because, you know, it's got a lot of weight and it's sort of restricting in the movements, so it's kind of like wearing a spacesuit without actually being a spacesuit. I guess the final bit of justification for having this is metals highly electrically conductive, so electricity will preferentially go through the armor rather than my flesh. So when this is fully done, I should be able to survive a lightning strike, which is kind of cool. A common question I get is, isn't it cold? Well, you would think so because it's copper. You know, copper is highly conductive of heat. But actually, as long as I've got something underneath of it, like this, which keeps it off of direct contact with my skin, which is a bad idea anyway, because it's still quite rough and will cause tremendous chafing. But as long as there's an air gap between it and my skin, it's actually a very good insulator, because it reflects infrared light. The infrared light 
you know, a lot of it does get out because it's covered in holes, but a lot of it is also reflected back, so it's almost like wearing one of those space blankets all the time. When I was in Anaheim, California last summer, I wore this for 12 hours a day and in areas which were unair conditioned. So it was making me incredibly hot. And what solution I found was to get this jacket wet. When it's wet, the water will conduct the heat from my skin to the copper, which then can radiate it away. Also, the evaporative cooling from the water also helps. So I just get this wet every couple of hours and I was fine. A problem I've had with it that has made me regret using copper is the fact that it's constantly shedding copper metal. Like, see, if I rub my hand on it, you might be able to see the dark stain on my fingers there. Um, copper is actually surprisingly toxic to all forms of life, which is kind of nice because it acts as a deodorant. Um, I don't smell at all when I'm wearing this. Like, I could take this jacket and not wash it for weeks and it, it never smells. It just gets a little crusty with some salt from the sweat because the copper kills all the bacteria and the bacteria are what makes the smell. Also, like if I'm at a convention, you know, I shake somebody's hand, I can just kind of rub my hand on the copper and it's like hand sanitizer. The only issue is it's also toxic to me. I'm big, you know, I'm not gonna get a very high dose of it just being here. But more sensitive areas, like the eyes, like if I touch my eyes with it after it's on there, you know, it, it makes my eyes feel incredibly dry and irritated. Uh, places like on the tops of my shoulders and my armpits, uh, those have a tendency to develop a rash. So what I've done to mitigate that is wash my clothes that come in contact with it fairly regularly uh, and not touch my face. In fact, I've been kind of wearing gloves to remind myself not to contact my face with it, which is probably helping with the uh, spread of viral diseases anyway. Uh, the trunk of the armor is actually not just a square piece of fabric. You might be able to see that there are contractions and on the back expansions. So it is actually kind of tailored and it fits my body fairly well. That helps with the weight distribution, like it feels a lot lighter now that it's all tailored and it increases mobility because when I put my arms together here, it's not bunching up a whole, like, like before I tailored it, it would start bunching up here. Now it gets to here before it starts bunching up, so greatly improves my mobility. I'm able to actually clap my hands out like this. The sleeves, I think I'm going to actually end up taking these apart and redoing it. I don't really like that. Like, see how it bunches up there? It's, it's all right as long as I kind of move the fabric down like that. But yeah, they're, they're probably going to get redesigned. In fact, uh, you might have been able to see in some of the other videos, I've had these sleeves longer. I've been trying to work on the uh, elbow joint. I don't really have a pattern to work from. I'm just kind of putting it together, seeing what works, and then redoing it when it doesn't work. I'm really kind of learning as I go. Maybe eventually I'll be able to have a pattern that I could share with you guys. So uh, a few more things. Well, I've got a piece of fabric over top of it, uh, and I'm in the rain. Uh, the outer fabric will get wet, but the copper, being a metal, it doesn't wick water down to the garments underneath, so it actually keeps me dry. Like, if I didn't have the armor there, the, the water would just wick from one piece of fabric to the other. So that was just a, I think I did a video on that. Is when I'm wearing it, I have to like consciously try to maintain my posture the whole time because the weight of it is just so heavy. It really like pulls you down forward like this and that just really hurts your back eventually. Uh, so actually I've been playing around. You see I've got some rubber bands on the back there to kind of try to help pull it back a little bit to kind of help with the posture thing. I think it does help. Uh, it does make it a little more uncomfortable to wear and it makes it a lot more difficult to get back off because like when I take the pressure off, you know, it wants to cinch in around my neck. And it's not too bad. It's not like I'm going to strangle myself or anything. These aren't very strong rubber bands, but I think I'm only going to do the rubber bands when I'm planning on wearing it for a long period. Uh, something to point out. 
these rings right here, those are the ones that I sent up on a weather balloon. Travel across two states. <laughs> so, it's kind of cool. So let me show putting it on. First of all, I gotta take my glasses off. The glasses don't do well with this. I like to put a hood on so that it's not scraping against my hair. That doesn't matter so much now that I've got shorter hair, but, you know, still, you don't want your hair getting snagged in it. Once it's welded, that shouldn't be as much of a problem, but right now it's still got little gaps that hair can get caught in. So, I just uh, stick my arms through. See, what I do is I kind of grab my sleeves so they don't get bunched up. Get my arms all the way through, lift up above my head. And just let it swallow me. <laughs> just like that. And to get it off, I just kind of bend over a little bit like this, take most of the weight off of it, grab it right there on the back of the neck, and slide it off. It's actually not that difficult. Oh, I just remembered. I've got a Kevlar uh, jacket here that I was thinking of wearing with it. You can see it's uh, very dirty right now. I decided just to go with a hoodie. The hoodie is it's more comfortable. Kevlar would be nice to you know, be more slash resistant. It will help with the knives, but honestly the copper is pretty good on its own. So, uh, that's about it. Um, if you have any more questions, I'll be answering them down in the comments. Uh, Hopefully I'll get it finished eventually. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.